Adam. One, I don't need Adam in this show. I don't care about Adam, okay? Don't care. And then you bring him in as the most obnoxious bro dude I've ever seen. But whatever, whatever. That's fine. But the problem is, I don't want Adam in the show. I don't give a shit about Adam, okay? Don't care. We got like four episodes until this show's done forever. Quit bringing in new characters. Quit it. Quit it. I need no new characters. Focus on who we have. And I know this was probably to show that that Eve has evolved beyond Adam, doesn't need him, blah, blah, blah. I didn't think she needed Adam to begin with. I thought her leaving heaven to come to earth, leaving Adam and, you know, being done with him, showed that. It showed just that. She was done with Adam. I needed no clarification. I was fine. And you bring him in, and it's just a waste because I don't care about Adam, the bro, learning to be woke. I don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. That's just me. That's just me. If you love the whole Adam thing, more power to you. I just don't want to waste time on characters that don't matter to me and that aren't really needed. Because like I said, I thought Eve clearly stated how she felt about Adam and she showed she was able to walk away and be done with him when she came to Earth. I thought we kind of got that. And this just didn't seem really like it was needed. What else do we have? We have Rory. Rory, who was apparently probably 40, 50, 60 years old maybe. Who even knows? But Chloe is apparently on her deathbed when Rory comes back. And it's when Chloe's old, I guess, because Rory said the whole age thing. So probably 40, 50 years old maybe. Maybe. And she acts like a teenager. All right. Your daddy wasn't there. My daddy wasn't there. My mom wasn't there. I don't want to, you know. And I don't act like a petulant child. Like, all right, you had kind of a shoddy deal. Doesn't sound like it was that bad of a deal, though. You have your mom, who's Chloe. Awesome. She's awesome. Let's be honest. She probably has all of Lucifer's assets once he disappears. So she's rich. So you have a super cool mom. A shit ton of money, an awesome ass car, a cool sister in Trixie. It seems like you had a pretty good life minus a father. And yeah, that kind of sucks, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad. And I know everyone copes with their own problems in their own way, and just me being able to move on without, you know, parents and all that is is that's just me, and not everyone's the same. I get all that. And I was willing to let it all go if she was, you know, late teens, early 20s. You know, she's young. She hasn't had time to really cope and deal with, with the issues she has. And I was like, you know what? It's fine. She's young. But she's like 40 or 50 in real life, apparently. So there's no need for her to act like this. I mean, it just seems very childish. And I don't like it, Rory. I don't like it. Don't like it. And pulling that shit, Trixie ain't even your kid. That is not something you should say as a grown woman, man. As a teenager, maybe you get angry and you say that shit. That ain't something you'd say if you're 40, 50 years old. You are emotionally so immature, Rory. And and even though you got the coolest fucking wings I've ever seen, I love those magenta, crimson, crystal, gem, whatever wings they are, blades, they rock. They rock. They're the coolest. But you need to grow up. You need to grow up. And then we got Maze and Maze, 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 Maze. So all of season five, all of season five, I wanted Maze to get her soul because she was working towards it and she wanted it and she, she thought she deserved it. And I thought she deserved it. But you know what? I don't like Maze with a soul. Nope, nope, nope. I don't. I fell in love with Demon Maze. Violent, torturous, sarcastic, strong, both emotionally and physically. 
I love that maze. And I thought if she's just got a soul, she'd be able to find happiness. But I didn't think she'd become so... I don't know. And maybe it's just me thinking she's emotionally weak now. Maybe her actually being able to express herself is is empowering and emotionally strong or whatever. Maybe maybe it's just me cuz I don't I don't think that way. But I'm also a pretty emotionally closed off person. So I'm willing to fully admit I'm probably bringing in all of my own shit and baggage into this. So I do admit that is very much a possibility, but I do what I what what I do know for certain is for for certain what I do know certainly oh what I certainly know is I prefer Demon Maze. I really really did. I liked everything about Demon Maze, how she cared herself, how she acted, how she was together, and how she just handled business. I even liked half of her face being all rotted, demonic looking. I dug it all. And this episode, I just, the shell of the woman I loved. And it makes me sad. Makes me sad. We also have Chloe, uh, I guess is going to go back to the police force, try to uh, change things from the top, which is good. If you want to change things in a police department, it has to come from the top. You know, it has to from the top down because if you're not someone in a position of power making changes enforcing those changes it's not really going to change anything i do question though if it's as bad as this episode made it out to be how did chloe never notice before to me it sounded like she had a willing blind eye to all the shit going on because if you've ever worked in a hostile environment you know where 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 bad shit is going down you know you know. You might not have first-hand knowledge, but you would hear. You would hear about it. And if you choose not to look into that, you're kind of turning a blind eye. So I don't think that's really the case with Chloe's character. I just think they de they decided to kind of bring all of this in to the sixth season without a ton of buildup. So we just had that previous episode in season four of, you know, the uh, one cop who, who was over who was over the line. Uh, Aminadol said criminal, not criminal, not criminal. Uh, believe it or not, cops have all kind of pr protections and ability to do all kind of shit you would think is illegal and would be illegal if I did it or you did it, but not if they do it. Uh, so once again, change has to come to the top. And I'm talking changing policies, changing laws. Like there's all kind of stuff going on. So, uh, a minute deal? I mean, cop was a dick. Wasn't criminal, though. I'm not saying he was morally right. I'm just saying legally, uh, cops have all kind of layers of uh, protection on them. So, uh, yeah, you, gotta, you have to change that shit from the top. And I'm glad that Chloe, if she wants to start changing that, is going gonna, is gonna to go back and kind of do something about it. I like that. That is cool. And, and I will say, when I mentioned my problem with Amenadil in episode six, that he should take off the badge, put on the wings and all that. And I'm saying that because Amenadil is an angel. If Amenadil was just a regular guy, a regular dude who had a bad run in with the cops, decides to become a cop, and on his first like case, he runs into the same asshole cop that he ran into that kind of made him want to become a cop and change things. And he has to, to work through the system to make changes. He's just a patrol officer, I guess is what they're called. I don't, I don't know cop terminology. If he was just a patrol officer having to work his way through the system to change things from the inside, because that's the only way he can do it. Because he's, you know, he's just a lonely old regular dude cop rookie. What can he do except try to work it from from within? I get that, and that is a that is a good storyline, and I think it it would really kind of hit home. But he's an angel; he is not bound and limited to fixing things the way just a regular dude could. I mean, he literally could. I mean, he could visit that cop at night, wings and all. 
Will it probably melt the dude's brain? Maybe, maybe. But would that be a bad thing? Put him in a mental institution? Maybe not. Or could he change that man? Change the way he sees things, you know, have him know that, that, you know, you know, I, Abinadil, the angel, a black angel, you know, from heaven, you know, God's favorite son, mightiest warrior, and sit down and talk with the man and try to change his mindset, his view of the world. That would be compelling for an angel. What is not compelling for an angel is for him to handicap himself and try to go through the laws of mortal man and a mortal man created system to make change. It's like he's handicapping himself to make the changes he needed. So if he was a normal guy, like the cop that was training him, can't remember her name, I'm terrible with names. Her story is compelling because she has seen the corruption. She's working to make a difference. She turns down promotions that'll take her out of working, as she put it, in the hood, you know, in the dangerous areas, because she wants to be there to try to make a change and not be shipped off to be a detective, a position of higher money and higher status. She turns all that down because she wants to make a difference. But she doesn't have superpowers. She has, that is how she can make a difference by staying where she's at and working to change things. Compelling. I would like to watch a show with her in it and following her. You know, that would be a that would be a good show because, you know, she is doing what she can as a mere mortal. A minute deal, you're not that. There's so much more change you can do if you just, you know, embrace what you were and quit pretending to be what you're not. I guess that's all I got to say about that. I got off on a rant there. I apologize. I just wanted to kind of clarify because some people kind of, you know, uh, saying I didn't understand what a minute it was trying to do. And, and that's not the case. I get what he's trying to do. And if he was a mortal, I would be totally into it. But as an angel, I think he, he could do he could do better with what he has access to. But that's just me. Once again, I've ranted far too long. Don't know even where I'm at at this point. Mm -hmm.